Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Peach from Harris. And today, I'm doing a bit of a channel update, but before that, we're doing a friggin' tutorial on how to support slash protect in Vanglory. Now, this is an issue I have all the time, and the reason why I end up maiming Catherine almost all the time without ever meaning to do it and getting really good with her is because most people cannot do the role properly especially in ranked so I'm going to break down pretty much what this protector role is and how it should be played now granted this is for 90% of all protectors because some people pick protectors like Glaive as you see here for his damage output to increase team um, viability and team overall damage output uh, while that's all fine and dandy if you pick the right champs in the first place you're not really gonna miss that as a Catherine I've gone full tank no damage items whatsoever and the team is perfectly able to kill anything that moves so the extra damage while cute in, in you know on paper is not necessary what is necessary is the role of a proper protector and I cannot tell you how good a proper protector is in keeping your team alive giving your team the information that it needs to stay alive and to fight properly so we're going to go to the shop real quick just to kind of show off if you can't tell already what you kind of need to be a proper protector now I bought a bunch of them well, really too many but I bought mines, which is your wards, your visions. If you play a um, league, this is how this will translate over. If this is say your first time seeing this, um, flares, which is like vision, except you can pop it in an area and have that lit up under vision, including you know wards and invisible enemies and shit. Great for people who turn invisible, like Taka or Flicker, things like that. So you can still see them and possibly damage them. You got a fountain of renewal, which is essentially uh, uh, Soraka heal or you know any healer pick a MOBA I'm just saying because I play League but it's a healing item it gives you increased regen and uh, on activation greatly increases your health regen like a heal over a short period of time and will also do it to all teammates in the general immediate area so it's good for team fights to help keep that longevity going like you all just got a burst of life steal or something and then uh, boots. Boots is just for me to move around, ignore the boots. And the best item, the contraption. Now, there are a couple of uh, normal, regular Vanglory players now at this point going, Hey, um, I understand what you mean. We need more vision and everything. But I don't like contraption. It takes up an extra item I can use for sweet leak damage. And it's just like, no, no, kill yourself. Because if you wanted damage, you'd have gone jungle or, you know, lane or ADC. You're a uh, protector. Now, I'm not saying you have to buy contraption, especially if you're like a weird protector, like if you went like freaking saw or something. I'm not saying you have to buy contraption to be a good protector. I'm just saying all good protectors have contraptions. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. So, now we're going to continue. We're going to walk in the lane. We're not going to go through that wall, even though I fucking love doing that. Fucking best shit ever. Blind man can see that back door. Go check out that video. But anyway, we're going to start in lane now. This is where it all starts. We're all going to split up. ADC is going to go that way. We're going to go down here. So first thing, you're going to go through the jungle and everything. You're probably going to kill this. Kill the backs. Kill the uh, health monster. Kill that health monster. And then, you're going to want to do something along the lines of this. While you're coming around to these final backs on the back side, you're going to want to pop a flare over here. While you're killing that, what that flare does is it shows people coming out of their jungle to their backs or coming to their shop and then to their backs. You see them already, that spooks them. That's already a good slower, uh, already a good tool to slow down the enemy. So then you're going to start blah 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 and at this point you should already start building that uh, first defense item or whatever item you built. And what you should do, no matter what you pick up, if you can, depending on your gold output and what you buy, you should buy a single uh, scout trap or a couple of flares. Now, 
this is uh, just getting out of like the first in instances of the game, you're going to want to start warding as soon as possible. Now, I will say, depending on the situation, whether you're playing safe or you're playing aggressive, I'm going to start with safe. Ward placements is key, because even when people get wards, or scout traps, mines, whatever, even when people get wards, they place them in the dumbest places. This, this right here, is a dumb placement. I mean, it grants the vision over all of this, but you can't see in any of the bushes, and everybody and their mother walking out from their jungle is going to fucking trip it, and then it's pretty much useless. So we're going to start off with safe warding positions. Now, I know a lot of the time, people like to place wards here, either in the center or over here on the side, and here's where that's a problem. You notice how right here and over here, you can't see the gold miner. Again, here or here, you can't see this. This is the important part. But over here, you can. One great place to set a ward while in tri brush, especially if you want to keep eyes on the miner but want to keep safe and not, you know, expose yourself to do it. You want to do it right here. You want to drop a ward right freaking here. So you can get keep vision on the menu miner and uh yeah, stay safe while doing it. So back to safe wards, another safe ward right here. Very few people hide in their brush, and when they do, it's probably to ambush you. So if you want to, like, make them rethink that option of attack, place a ward there. Maybe place a couple if you have time and you got a contraption where, you know, they're unlimited. Place a couple. Now, another really safe ward, Cheeky Breaky, that'll uh, provide great vision and probably never get tripped during the game until late game, is right here. Right here, right behind this wall. Because what a lot of people do is they place a ward here, it gets tripped, right? They place a ward here in this brush, really far back right here, thinking they're safe from the uh, enemy laner. That always gets tripped. And then they wonder, you know, man, why can't my vision stay? A vision is stupid. I'm going to just, like, keep an eye out and, like, have those inhuman reactions. Well, that's a fucking bad idea. Instead, placing a ward here where it's probably going to get tripped by the dude coming to kill you and you pretty much get an extra, what, half a second of reaction time? Uh, or placing it here where you get an extra second and you'll probably still miss it because no one checks the minimap because the fat fingers are in the way. How about you place it right here? You'll see them if they st as soon as they come out that brush so you get that full second and no one will trip it if you live or die. No one will trip the ward. It's a good idea to have. Uh, another great ward placement which let me kill this real quick. Another good ward placement is right here. Right here, right behind this large uh, health uh, health camp. Honestly, I don't know what to call them, so don't send me on that one. Another great place is right there because it provides vision of this whole area minus this bush. And if you have people who are smart, know you're placing down wards and start checking all the brush for all the wards like they'll check here, they'll never check here because it's a giant monster in a way. And if they try to check it, they'll probably click on it and uh, start fighting it when they don't want to. So most people, they'll probably try to stand right next to it right here where you can set it when the monster's not there. And then uh, they'll be like, oh, whoop, nothing here, and then leave. Or they'll kill it and then leave. And they'll never trip this mine. Provides great vision. Now another good vision part uh, another good vision placement, I'd say, is right here. This provides good vision along the backside, and most people never trip it because if they come in the backside, they're playing sneaky, uh, sneaky peeky, and they'll try to go for your minion mine, and they'll try to go around here, but rarely they'll ever trip it. And uh, yeah, provides good vision on the backside, so people who try to like, oh god, I'm getting killed over here, let me go over here, act like I'm running away, and then back right here, yeah, you'll see their ass, and you'll kill their ass, and then their ass is yours delicious so anyway now we're going to come back round to the shop and a good placement for the shop is not right here everyone likes to place right here they buy it right here and then they just plant it at their feet right after they buy it no 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 a better placement is right here right here right behind the rock like you know the upside down U that is the shop brush because this will provide vision for the entire brush and will more than likely not get tripped now it's a high percentage of it not getting tripped, but it's not guaranteed. But it's good to have vision in your own brush, especially if you're getting pushed out into the jungle. Now, we've pretty much covered safety in tri brush, because I want to say tri brush placing a ward here is your best bet for safety, because enemies usually don't come from here around here. Although anything in tri brush is liable to get, you know, uh, tripped. But um, a better placement for defensive purposes would be right here on the wall. 
avoid placing you know traps right here unless you have traps to spare especially if you're in lane if you're in lane and you're up here you know dicking around and everything instead of placing it here place it here that is definitely a safer bet now if you're a solid can't move place it here and just like hope for the best but better placements will oftentimes save your life uh, placing behind the health back here I'm just calling the health back Placing behind the health back here is a very good way to avoid people who are sweeping forwards and such. Um, for Minion Miner, I will say again, placing it in the back, right here. Provide excellent vision on Minion Miner, even though he provides vision. If you want vision on it, that's a great place to provide it, because again, no, hit it, and then end up killing it right here, but never actually trip that ward. So anyway, we're going to murder his face. We're going to attempt to murder his face. Fucking die, you bastard. Uh, fucking die. Thank you. Alright, so you can place that there. Uh, that covers vision over here. Vision of minor. Vision of the retreat. Now, I will say, wards back here. While rare, I ever see anybody needing vision, because usually people just run around and all of a sudden, yep, you're spotted. While wars back here may seem like a good idea, since it's kind of like a no man's, you know, no man's area. I'm about to say no man's sky. It's a no man's land. Like, nobody really comes back here unless they're running for their life. A ward right here will definitely pretty much cut off that avenue of escape, because as soon as they come, like, right here, they're spotted. If they come right here, you probably have somebody coming around instead of like, oh, they're chasing that way, let me go this way. They'll probably come right here, and uh, they'll see them also. If they somehow, say, go through the wall and through here like Glaive does. Um, but generally, everyone will chase them around the corner, and then they'll see them right here. So always, you know, I wouldn't say put a ward there, but if you do, try placing it like right here. That's about it. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers it for defense. Defensive uh, vision placement. Now, defensive vision placement is key to keeping aggressive junglers um, out of your jungle because sometimes just seeing a ward go off under your feet will just automatically dissuade you from being aggressive. But um, also, it provides excellent vision to help protect your uh, fellow teammates. You know, being the protector, it helps protect your fellow teammates from uh, dealing with, you know, crazy ass two man ganks or that one taka that you've been feeding all game helps protect you now i will say they're more defensive wards when you're pushed back to say second or third tower and you could place them like say here or here in the brush but they're not nearly as a uh, as a uh, you know unknown i mean granted people when they're pushed back tend to forget about vision in general and how it's been protecting them the whole game but um yeah I would say one in this bush, just for good measure. Keep it back so no one trips it if they're coming through to gank or anything like that. Try to keep it far back so it doesn't get popped. Um, one here. I will say a lot of people tend to either go this way and then go through a brush or come down through this brush first, but never actually go through here a lot. They rarely go through here as much. Now, I will say it's a, it's a high traffic area, but in terms of cheeky ward placement, that's a good one too. And while my minions are destroying turrets, let's go ahead and buy some more wards and check up on some aggressive ward placement. Now these are the wards that win games, because those defensive wards, including the bad ones, at least will provide some sort of vision, and those are in a protective nature. What wins games, though, is uh, very cheeky, uh, aggressive ward placement. This provides vision in an offensive manner and allows you to essentially coordinate your attacks so they do the most damage. Now, it all gets aggressive when you start warding past this line. This line that I'm walking right now, this line right here, once you part, start warding past this line, this is when you start getting aggressive. Aggressive. Be e aggressive. No, I'm not saying that. But anyway, so first, uh, first, like, I guess, level or tier aggressive warding. I would say starts here in the minion miner slash kraken and it's warding anywhere up here in this half crescent moon around the objective anything up here provides vision on the objective while it is stationary 
and will help you keep vision on it in case you know you see people trying to like position for it because you can't talk somebody will come stand next to it like hey ping ping can we get it can we get it and people go like no that'll automatically give away their uh intentions you know hey they're kind of staring at crack and let's uh let's keep an eye on that things like that things that you want to have another one is after you kill a minion miner you might want to step into it and place a mine directly on it. Same way you place a mine directly behind, you know, Minion Miner or one of the health backs. It'll provide great vision that'll probably never get tripped because most people on a, uh, let's say, a middle tier understand, hey, vision in here helps keep eyes on the objective. Let's place something here. And if you place a trap here and they place a trap here, somebody's trap's getting destroyed. More than likely it's yours or it's probably going to be yours after you've been found out trying to place a trap there by their trap. Same way. So, you want to kind of place it kind of cheeky so no one, um, no one, uh, you know, trips your own trap so you keep vision. Another one is right in front of it. Right in front of the objective, things like that are on the objective to the point where it'll get tripped. Oh, fuck. It'll get tripped. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, I don't want to fight you. It'll get tripped, yet blow up under the objective so it'll cause the objective to attack them. Like, say, um, you know, hey, I'm, uh, kind of half health like this coming out the jungle, and I'm going to... Let's say fuck with uh, Minion Miner. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm going to walk past it and try to place a cheeky ward over here. Or cheeky ward or, you know, get her a nice gank. What's going to happen is, you're going to walk through here. They're going to trip this mine and Minion Miner's going to start attacking him. Oh, it'll immediately make him go, oh shit, they know where I am and I'm getting damaged. Yet no one's here. So unless they're like, okay, fuck it, we're going to take this Minion Miner under vision. They usually go, oh shit, fuck this shit, I'm out. And then, boop, they get the fuck back. Alright, another uh, act, uh, offensive ward placement. I will say he's over here by the shop. Now most people, again, while they like to place wards right here, they'll place wards right here. They'll buy them in their jungle like, yeah, I'm in their little bush, and they'll place them right here. That's a bad move, because as soon as they come, like, well, yeah, okay, time to buy th something from the jungle, like, boop, boop, pfft. that bitch put a ward in my shit. So you'll probably see them right here, and if they're smart, they'll back off, get vision off them, and come back, buy the shit, and leave. That's a waste of 50 gold. What you want to do, if you want to place one, same place you place them in your own for defensive purposes, place one right here. Place it right here, you get vision of their, uh, of their, uh, get vision of their shot bush, and also, you get vision of their backs. So it's good to see people running around this way. Now, onto their tri brush. I will say great places to put in the tri brush are nowhere. No one in the tri brush is a good area to place a ward, to be honest. Because um, if you place it here, people walking from jungle to land will trip it. If you place it here, people walking from jungle to bush, uh, to shot bush will trip it. And if you place it here, people walking from here to objectives or from lane to shot bush will trip it. Almost nowhere in the enemy tri brush is it a good place to place a ward. So we'll place one here in the dumb position because everyone will trip that one. That's a bad spot. A good one would be right here. Right here is a good one. Same way it's a good one in yours because most people don't trip it. Most people come this way. Most people come this way. Most people come this way. But no one is coming from here, say, through that way. Rarely, unless you're pushing them back. And by that time, uh, your words have already done their job if it gets tripped. So what? Okay? Another one. Right here. Very few people put uh, sit in their own side's jungle in this sort of ambush position. This is a great place to place a ward. Same way on the other side for defensive purposes, for offensive purposes, it has the same effect. Also, place them right here behind the health back, and same reason why it's a good defensive ward, it's also a good offensive ward. So you place that there. Now, I will say one of the better ones, once you get over here to their minion miner, would be right here. Same way it is on the uh, opposite side. It's not right here, it's right there. Actually, no. Yeah, it's right there. I'm trying to remember. And that's a good one in case, you know, hey, they're pushing in our jungle. They beat my ass up. I'm going to run this way. And then everyone runs around. You go, tee backing. Nope, I see you, bitch. And somebody comes to the wall and fucks you. So, now that we've got that down, we're going to go on to the enemy minion miner. Now, enemy minion miner generally would have a, uh, 
uh, you know, the whole vision effect on it. So while there are menu miners there, you probably don't want to be over here placing wards and shit because you'll probably see them. But a lot of people like to say, hey, we took their menu miner. We're going to place a ward right here. And tee hee, when they come to take it back, the mine will go off under them. Hee hee, that's a good one. No, that's a waste of 50 gold. It provides no vision. If you took the menu miner, menu miner is already providing vision. How about instead you place a mine right here? From right there in that brush, you see people coming through this brush because they're probably pushed back since you're taking their mines. They're probably pushed back. They're coming through here. You'll see them coming from the minion miner, and then you'll see your minion miner start getting attacked. That is a definite better place. How the fuck did an ally turn against? Ah, oh, come on, seriously? Ugh. All right, so what was I saying? Place it in that side brush over there instead of the brush right next to your minion miner, and you'll see people coming from minion mines. You'll see the miner actually tell you, hey, people are hitting me, and you'll see them on map. And on top of that, it will not get popped. Almost nobody uses that brush way over here for any reason except the defensive ambush. Like, hey, they're taking minion mine, they're probably going to take this health back, let's sit here. And on the off chance they do that, the miner will go off under them. But normally, this will just provide great vision and uh, keep people alive. Just saying. Um, and that's pretty much it for most offensive wards. Now, I will say, I've placed most of my wards here in the jungle because these are the wards that win games. These are the, th this is the vision that helps people stay alive, helps coordinate jungle attacks, things like that. Because there's two people in the jungle and only one person in the lane. If those two people in the jungle win, generally the lane's going to lose. Now, I will say, there are some exceptions to uh, lane wards, like um, pretty much all the brushes. All the brushes could stand to have a ward in them, just for vision and lane, in case you're doing some shit in the jungle, and they say, hey, we're going to, like, back door and go through lane and try to take a tower, sneaky peeky like, um, things like that. These wards can definitely help you out. And I will say, um, defensively, if you're under siege, towers are getting destroyed, and you need to just, like, have some sort of use for your wards while you're stuck in base and afraid to go out. I will say setting a minefield in front of your own um, in front of your own towers is a good idea. You set one there, you set one there, and a nice little like, you know, geometrical uh, geom um, yeah, geom uh, words geomet uh, geometric pattern. So uh, essentially, if anybody fights in let's say this area in front of your tower, and they want to like rush your tower. Uh, mines will be going off under them and that'll uh, help you out in the whole um, defense of the area because if like six mines go off under somebody they're taking some damage it's just the fact of life so now you have an idea of where to place wards and mines in the jungle this this right here all of these mines these mines save lives these mines win games use these mines if you're a protector Use these fucking mines. I, and if you buy a contraption only place on two mines, you're getting reported. I'm just saying that now. Because that's unskilled play. That's the thing that breaks games. If I keep freaking getting ganked, or if I keep freaking getting, um, you know, harassed because no one knows where the enemy jungle is and everyone's too afraid to step out a bush lest they get assassinated, Vision fixes that. Vision helps you with that. Vision, visions, division wins games. Everyone's like, defense wins games. No, 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 no. Vision wins games. You can have the best setup ever. But if I have a pedal saw Taka that fucking always is being seen and has vision and everything, it, it, you'll get destroyed by a fucking Lance Lane or something with like an Arden and a Glaive with no weapon power fucking just sitting there laying down vision because they'll always know where you are they'll always pick you out when you're weakest and then they'll always kill you so vision wins games if you're a protector fucking buy fucking vision i will say buy a contraption i'll save you more gold in the meantime uh page from harris not signing off bit of a channel update reason why i haven't made videos so much is because i'm about to get a computer on black friday yeah I've um, uh, been saving up my money, been doing a hell of a lot of lift and shit, trying to get this money. And uh, when I get a computer, videos will stop back up and uh, way better quality. So, that is it. Uh, Pierce from Harris signing off. Go play some fucking Vision, people. Vision wins games.